Hey people, I got some gold here. I was looking at this King Tut chest some more and reading in First John. And so all across here, it's got a lot of writings. And it's got patterns of three, six, and nine. You know, three snakes on the cane and three desert lower crowns and three north crowns. You know, three women and six gods. And then over here, it's got the 12, the 12 months. And you'll see um, the Christ mark on the M at Virgo. And on this side, you got a boat with nine gods in it. And you know the A-I at the end of words in Greek, I pronounce as edge. And that's edge, is everything in the boat, you know, everything picked up along the way. Then it's got some old crocodile gods on the bottom and some more patterns of will be's and R's. But right off in the middle of it, you know, you figure this is the one that's most important. And it's a serpent. It's representing Lucifer. And in the hand here, it is hard to tell, but this is a horse with bridle on, with his parade headgear. And you won't find this anywhere else, but you will find it in the Song of Moses in Exodus 14. And it's called the Glorious, the Triumphant Horses. It's the, the horses dressed up. And the Hebrew word for this is Jesus. The G, the Triumphant Sus Horses. And what really tripped me out is what it says down here on the throne. This is a little lizard. And it's a it. And this is the nub, N, B, N, V. And usually you read, you know, this from the top down. But being that it's in, it's inside, if they're connected, it's one hieroglyph. So you read this, the N, V, I, T, invite. And then you come here, this is the S. And the first vowel point, A. And this is the L. All the Egyptologists will say it's an A, and they're wrong. There's too many letters or A, you know. There's an A here or a single vowel points of A. They got no letters for L. And it's because they're trying to hide all knowledge of algebra and, and alchemy. They're trying to hide this letter L. And they got it confused trying to force a meaning over Cleopatra's cartouche. And I showed in the movie how they mistake that. But that's what this says is invite. In N-V-I-T-S-A-L-T, th third vowel point, U. And Jesus invites all to. That's Lucifer. That's what Lucifer's saying. Jesus invites all to. You know, they say this was carved in Roman barracks 1,500 years later. And that's how they represent Jesus on the cross by a horse head. So, if any of y'all thinking I'm the Antichrist, I've done figured out that I definitely am. And I figured out that most of y'all are too. But I was reading here in 1 John where I've been reading about this chart from the monkey, Baba, Baba Bull. And I zoomed on out till I saw this pattern here. You can see everything in the pattern. So, I pulled it off and put it on paint and lined it up so everybody would be able to see and so I've been studying this chapter about a week now. I probably made that first movie on it. Maybe more. And I've read this at least six times. And so I figured out, you know, what this Antichrist means. And it's where your word antique comes from. The antique restores. And it's talking about the old language. And that's what I'm doing. I am an antiquerist. And I'm trying to restore the ancient language of the accusations, Audi of the antique, the antique rise to, where that's the, you know, the antiquers, the, the rise to, to bring back the old. And it says the same thing many different ways through here. But that's what this chapter's talking about. It's talking about the antichrist. It's talking about the ignocate. And this is one that, you know, the southern boys down here might have read it, you know, the edge in the Kate, got you your education, 
and that's kind of what it means it it means three different things this is the gno is in gnostic and so the gnostics they know other things and so you know some people are reading this as education and and that's the same people they get they're reading the end silent the edge educate to educate and some people know to read this with the g silent and they're the gnostics and they get an indicate they get an indicate to put it all together and some people are reading it as you know the igno the ignocate and they'll say igno that's where your base word to know is they say it's knowledge and to ignocate means to share the knowledge and so that's what i'm doing i am it's not that i know but this I am ignocating and not just the education which to educate means the same as your educate today and it means you know to steer somebody toward enough knowledge to do their job and that's what your public schools do you know they educate but they're they're not indicating and they're not ignocating and then the other word that comes up throughout here is the graphs. I am writing and I have written the graphs and the graph. So just need to get these three words, you know, the graph of writing. And omen is to you, and audi is because, and ton is the, which they aren't, but that's what they're going to say. Audi means, you know, should he. Hey, should he lift up the top, the stink will come out, you know, because Audie, should he, what he did. And then you got the young men, and this is the Venus Co. means the pair of Venus. You know, an N before E becomes a V, V or a B. You know, a bean is where they get young men from, same as Hebrew, the bean, but that's the Venus Co., the two of them together. And the phoneron, you know, that's the sound of the old phonish and the phoner, the phoner word, the evil one. The arches, the beginning or the top, and the fate rests, you know, or the arches, where your fate rests was you know, your sun sign. And this, uh, you know, the the name of him, you know, Anamatu, and to Anamata. So when you put them all lined up, you can see, you know, this, the only words to change here is the fathers, the sons, the babies, and the kids. And to ignocate or to vinicate. And the arches, the poneron, fat time, fat era. It's about time. It's fat era, fat time, and the arches again. And so, you know, this I am writing to you little children is, is the graphum in tell not. The graphum in tell not Audi, and that's what the name of this is. He wasn't supposed to tell off. The E-K is the E-L, the tell not, you know. And some people might have read that is the techno, you know, the techno, the technology. But the people in the know knew it was supposed to remain secret. It was the tell not Audi. And the graphum and tell not Audi, a peontage, a q e o n t a j, and so a peon, a peon is behind you, a epion is not behind you, and a t a j is what you picked up along the way, and so the graphum and tell not Audi, a peontage, what is not behind, what's in front what's in front to tell the future of men and this is uh this is where that word for word in the hebrew come from it's a a i or y a m a r a yammer and so a yammer you know i always say you know they give it the meaning said it means a word that you pick up the knowledge from the heavens you know from where the stars where the planets are sitting the stars is what a yammer is. And that's why it always says, in God said, it means, and where the stars are sitting at this time. And the graphum intel not audi, a peontage of the futurum in a word, 
of yammeritage, a wordage, die through to, you know, the day to onum of ought of, the day to onum ought of. And so this word, the O N O, it, the O and O is six in most all the ancient language. Some of them will say it's one, but this is the one they say in the name. And a noma, you know, is a name in in Greek and in Egyptian, but it means the name of the day, the ono, the six from ot of. And actually reads the double A, you know, is the oname, oname, the six may what of. You know, that's the six may what of, the six days of the five weeks, you know, 30 day calendar. And so it says, you know, in the graphum of tell not Audi what he wasn't supposed to tell of a peontage not behind what's in front to collect the tidge em in, to collect em in a yammer, a word it to a date on em of two. The, the day of the calendar, what the word is, and the words mean more than just our Sunday, March 6th, you know. The word told all the astrology and which gods to pray to. And so then it starts explaining what's in the graph. The graphum in of the fate rest. The fate rest is your sun sign. You know, wherever you was born, that's where your fate rested. And the fate rests, Audi, of ignocate. And so ignocate means you know, to put it in that special language where some people can get some information of it and some people can get more information of it. And you see that when you read with this mark up here and it tells you to read that backwards and forwards and, and audit the take on jig, J G E G, the take on the jig, the day, the jig and the day in a kate the day and to teach. And so the graphum in the fate rest, Audi ignicated on of arches. Put that information on the arches. It's up on the twelve arches of the months. And the graphum in of the Venus co, the young man I think that said, the Venus co, Lucifer Hesifer, the Venus company. Audi of Vinicated on Poneron of the evil, the phoneron of the voice. And so this of uh, Vinicate is, um, they think they say it says something to come, and they're getting the come from this N E N I, which is before the E, this read is a V E N I. Vinny, Vicky, Vitty, to come, to come. And, uh, and this is a uh, you know, to come and to inick the old iniquities, the vinick, to come the old to Kate, to come the old to teach. And the graphum in the Venusco, Audi vinicicate it on the phoneron, on the spoken word. And so that's talking about, you know, the young men. The Venus Co, you know, the two Venuses, Lucifer and Hesifer, the Huffer, the Chiffer, the Freak. And so this is also, you know, I told you the two eyes are different. You see how they stay the same, but the, they read other directions because what side they're on. And so one of them's air, airy, and one of them's on. And so that's where you, your word like January is when it's passing from on the Jan to January. When it's going from the, you know, when it's making the lower cross, January stops going down and starts coming up. And so the An and Ari, you know, they give you your 12 different months out of these six words. Six of them read with An and six of them read with Ari. You know, the graphs them in Venus Co. And so the Venus Co., you know, they have a couple of jobs there. They're keeping up with Venus in its 19th month cycle. And they're keeping up with the 12 months sun cycle. And Audi of Vinicate. 
of vinicate, so, you know, to come the old out on a phone or on, on the, on the word. And so the vinicate was fur, the lucifer. And so the graphem in payday, oh, I'm pretty sure that's the moon is payday. You get paid on the full moon and the new moon. And so the father and the son and the children is your sun sign, Venus, in the moon. And the grass in the payday ought to ignocate, you know, put it out there in the open for everybody to see, but hidden in code of art. And ignocate it on a fat era, fat time, the fat time on the fathers up there. So it's going to be in the arches. And fat, you know, is more than fat. You know, when it's 12.05, it's fat 12. You know, past past the era. Fat era, past the era. And the graphem in the payday ought to ignocate it on the fat era, the past time. And then here you see it's spelled different, you know, the igrifs. The igrif, igrifi, you know, calligraphy, that's, um, that's a writing style. You know, that's the, the letters, the writings in. And the igrifsi, I mean, fate rests, oddy ignicate, ignicated on of arches. And so arches, you know, as an, another word, you know, it means the secrets, to ignocate it. You know, to put it in the secret pictures, to put it on the arches. And Igrifsum in the Venus Co. already issue a royest. To issue, you know, to put it in the royest, in the, the royal, the royest, in the king. And of logist of, and of the place of, you know, the Theo, the God, the of. And of the logist of the of in men, in them in, the of in them in, the God in them in. And this, uh, a lot of people read this as many, you know, M E N E I, many, and but it means every, every, from every, from all, you know, which is many of them. And in the graphs of men, the Venus Co. Audi issue the royest, the royal. And a, and of logist and of the place of the of in, in them in of many from every, and vinicate veni to come from the past the vinic to cate to put it out there to cate it on, you know the cater to cater to, to give it, to vinicate on, of the evil of the phone or on the, of the spoken word so they're giving this word forgiven you know a fiantage and so you know that would be in the past you know something that had been forgiven for so they're missing this a you know when they start a word with a they say it's the opposite of what follows and so it would be you know not behind picked up and so a graphem in tell not audi a fiantage and and possibly you know of a font a fontage from an old writing fontage of in a yammer a yammer a word a tieage the the word to tie edge from what you pick up along the way of the the heavens in the boat a yammer a yammer tieage through to the date through to the date on them on them may what of the graphem in fate rests audi ignicated on of arches the graphem the venus co audi vinicate vinicate to come over from the past to vinicate to vinicate it on of a phone or a spoken word and so sometimes, you know, that's the same hieroglyphs, but they're read different ways. Sometimes you're reading what you're hearing, and sometimes you're reading what the picture says. And just this word tells me, you know, that 
the phoner on, you know, was the face of. And so the face of the writings would sound, you know, would sound like it. And then when you read the, the picture meanings, then it would get a different word for the word. And igrifts them in, you know, and writes them in. Igrifts them in to pay through. Fade. Fade through. Igrifts them in to fade through. Audi ignicated on fat her. The fat time. Fat era. It's about time, you know. Fat era. Fat time you got here. And it grifts them in the fate rests Audi ignicated on of arches. And it grifts them in the Venus Co. Audi issue. Issue the Roy, the strong you are. Issue the roy -est. And of logist, the word of the location. Of the logist of the of in. The of in them in, the God of in them in, you know, picking a certain one. The of in them in, from every, from from many, and vindicate, and bring from past, bring from iniquity to Kate, you know, to give out, serve it on a a phoner on a spoken, a spoken word. You know, it's easy to see if you read all through here, you'll see that's what he's talking about. It's Cosmo, and that has to do with astrology. Actions of the stars affecting the earth. It says it many times, many different ways. The Cosmo, the Cosmon. You know, to issue a Roy S, you know, is a strong pull. That's what Venus has got. So, I was wanting to read through a bunch of this without having to stop and explain any of the words. Because we don't know. They're all ancient. They have so many different meanings. But, you know, to cause for stumbling, you know, is a scandal on. And they say a scandal may have came from Scandinavia, where they may have ripped somebody off in the past. Scandal. But, you know, it's also, you know, W.S. was a candle on. You know, candle comes from the old word meaning white. And this is possibly reading as a W.S., you know, was in a C, in a sandal on. And, you know, a sandal on, you know, that comes from the old Greek word for a wooden shoe, which would probably cause you to stumble, and you probably won't find them anywhere in the world, except maybe somewhere up in the Scandinavia, cause for stumbling. So all these old writings, the old Hebrew, the old Greek, the old Egyptian, they were all written at a time when everybody spoke English and just wrote it in a different way. And so we'll figure out some more of this in the next movie. And it's going to be of a legend into Pudi Heine, the light to be, Pudi Heine. And you know where they got that light to be, you know, the Pudi Heine. You know, that's the ancient story of, of nuts swallowing the sun every night and digesting it. And it comes out her pony hiney every morning. Pooty hiney, the legend of pooty hiney. And the light to be to pooty hiney. Alright, I'm going to cut this off here. Good day. I am the Antichrist and I approve of this message.